strike of a light pole. I just air it out and leave with the mic broke. Your micro, I'm hard body like Tyco. Heavy metal Chevys with nitro. Addicted to the vapors of paper. Hypnotic to the thirst. I'm pulling off criminal capers. I know the cocaine crackery stinks, but that's what it is. Surrounded by the khakis and mints. We move. Man, that was a long segment. Maybe just because you kept getting stuck on hacker puzzles. I also kept dying to your giant robot torsos. Yeah, that's right you did. <laughs> Those guys are brutal, man. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> I remember this level was a nightmare to, for uh, for frame rate, right? Um, it's a big open area. There's not a lot of stuff to occlude what's going on everywhere. Yeah. So, and there, I mean, that's always a bit of a problem. And there's a ton of switchbacks, but with, uh, really thin walls, you know? So, uh, it, it, you, you could never really get far enough away from enemies that they would turn off. I remember this was also the level, this was the, this was the level that triggered the shark gator discussion for Ratchet and Clank 3. Which, uh, tell, tell me about it. I don't remember. I mean, it's it's the standard argument that happens in every single Ratchet and Clank game. Like, we're not going to use the Shark oh. Gator, are we? And then it's always <laughs> like, yes, we are going to use the Shark Gator. I it's, I love that he's the Shark Gator because I I don't think we ever call him that anywhere. Like, I don't think anybody would ever have any reason to know that he's a Shark Gator. <laughs> but yeah, we always thought, oh, let's come up with something that is different than the Shark Gator, and uh, it never happens. This is a boss battle, right? Uh, he will become a boss battle, yes. Do you remember who coded this? Moo did. Moo did, okay. We were just talking to Moo about this. About the helicopter He mentioned boss? it on our podcast. Shit. Well, you know what? At least I remember what Moo does, not like you who forgets what Billy does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he sits around and talks on the forums all day. <laughs> that guy. Uh... Now we've mentioned Billy twice. I think he owes Billy, Yeah, he should be happy now. We're doing it in such a positive way, too. <laughs> he, uh, uh, you know, at this point, he owes us money, I think. <laughs> this is hard. I don't... Oh, fuck! Oh! What? What? That's <laughs> right bullshit! Right your feet. That is kind of bullshit. Oh, I can't believe that happened. Uh, I can't even blame you for that, can I? No, that's all moved. Right out from under you. All right, let's let's not have that happen again. All right, Tony, I'm gonna need you to talk about something so that I can uh, concentrate I don't on really not have dying too much like to talk a about. Um, well, I, you know what? This is a good time. Let's talk about shadow volumes. I don't know how much there is to say about shadow volumes. I mean, it's an interesting effect. Um, it was uh, Keith came up with it. Uh, Keith Lee, right. uh, I think we've talked about it a little bit before. Mm -hmm. In this game, he was mostly in charge of doing weapon effects. Right. Uh, is what his primary task was on this game. And he kicked ass at weapons effects. He did a really good job oh, of man. it. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful game for effects. And um, so we uh, we talked in, in the last podcast about our organic death effect and how hard it was to always come up with the way that that right. sort of thing worked. And um, so... He wanted to sort of improve on that organic death effect and give it a little bit more shape on the characters when it came off of them. Right. And uh, so the way shadows work in Ratchet and Clank, and this was also one of our first development tasks, Mike, for oh, you and me. Yes. One of the first things that we ever got into the game, into the <laughs> game proper, was shadows. Yep, we did uh, uh, shadow volumes, crate placements, that kind of stuff, yeah. Um, so the way... I didn't. I never did crate placements. Crate placements. Don't want to be into that, that category. <laughs> I was always above that, even at my lowest. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I think uh, I think you were just too good for it. That was that must have been one of those. And so shadow volume shadows in Ratchet and Clank are all done by hand. Right. You'll notice and that the shadow that Ratchet casts actually kind of looks like him down there at the bottom. You can stop and look. At, let's stop and look for really quick. See, look at look at that shadow. Look how amazing that is. So that's all done by hand and. Basically, you go into the editor that we have, and you define a series of pills and spheres on the character and attach them to joints, and then you say, this is the shadow, and then the engine will take that shape and project it down onto the ground. Right. Um, and so since we had sort of all these 
spheres and pills to find on the character. Keith was just kind of like, I can just piggyback onto that and then just create uh, particles defined by the bounds of those spheres and pills. And then any effect that we create will look kind of like the character. And it's actually on the teleporter effect that we just saw back there. Yep. You see how there's some particles that come off of Ratchet ears, Ratchet's ears and stuff? And that's sort of done by the same way, and that it takes the volume of all the shadow pills that we have defined and will spawn effects within those volumes. Or within the, yeah, within those volumes. And so when you spawn like, you know, maybe a hundred particles and say by using it with the shadow volumes, it'll take on it'll start to take on the shape of the character that you're spawning it on. Yeah, so which looks... is a pretty clever way to make sort of enemies fade out and have any particle effects sort of retain the shape even as the character is fading away. And it was fairly efficient. It was a cheap way to do it as well. Yeah, for sure. Cuz I mean that it, that data was already there and we were already using it to calculate all the shadows and stuff like that. So it wasn't it wasn't too hard to just grab that information. And I mean getting getting the area of a sphere is pretty simple and cheap on its own so it was pretty good uh, it was a very clever way to do the effect and I, we used it in a lot of places to just sort of give things volume which I thought was really, was really clever uh, so oh fuck that, he's behind you Mike oh, yeah that's fair uh, is that gonna the see? other thing that Keith did in this game and this actually affects what I'm seeing right now on this, on this level is that we got uh, heat distortion effects for the first time. Yes, heat... Oh, man. So, and, oh, we went so overboard with the heat distortion effects. <laughs> we loved it. It was one of our favorites. We actually had those... That, the talk about, you know, you need to stop using pink effects. Right. We had another one of those come to God meetings about <laughs> heat distortion effects, which is like, you guys are using this way too much. You need to cut it back. Come on, where are you, you fucker? Uh... Another thing I noticed is that on this level we're 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 using Al's new water system. Uh, uh, look, like this this is this is the better water. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I mean before water planes were just two two planes that had two scrolling textures that scrolled in different directions. Yes. But this one actually has some displacement to it, which is really yeah. neat. Yeah. Oh God. Take the teleporter. Yeah. And then, Come on, man. and then we can Be see a we can see uh, a shadow volume effect in action. See how all the particles sort of come off of Ratchet? That's how we did it. That is exactly how we did it. Just expose a little bit of the magic to the people. It's like watching the sausage get made, man. Uh, You're not supposed to watch the sausage get made. <laughs> oh wait, that's a bad thing. Shit. That's a bad thing. <laughs> I watched a. Uh, you know what's funny is I watched a television episode on. Um, the food channel about uh, how to make sausage, and it made me really hungry. <laughs> I, I don't think that sort of thing works on me. Like, I watched uh, Super Size Me, and I wanted McDonald's food. Man, I could sit here and talk about the Food Network all day. Oh, yeah? Let's talk about the yeah, Food Network. There's a lot. I don't, we don't need to talk about the Food Network. But I will say this. There is a show on the Food Network called The Sandwich King. That guy is the greatest guy that's ever lived. That guy. <laughs> he is the best. I love that guy. He comes in he on is... top of Kurt Vonnegut? <laughs> he is he's the greatest guy on the Food Network, I'll put it that way. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, he's... I know you're a I know you're a big enthusiast for the Food Network, so that's that not, says something. Not usually. That guy. I'll watch that guy's show. That's the only show that I watch. What? It's on my TiVo. You you, you like right watching now. like how to cook tasty things and recipes. like you're a hell of a cook, man. Uh, I don't usually, I mean, again, I don't know how much conversation we're going to get the food network. <laughs> I don't watch it too often. I'll, I'll have it on the background. It's not on, back, right now, I, I wish I had it on the background right now. Then I could, like, whenever you're talking, I could just watch delicious food. Well, yeah, I mean, who wants to hear me talk? That's <laughs> not me. That's for damn sure. God, this guy's hard, Tony. I don't, I don't know if I can do this. Still, though, Sandwich King, great guy. Everybody watch that show. What's, uh, yeah, you know what, uh, you're right. I don't know how much we can talk about the Food Network on here. <laughs> what, uh, uh, do you, do you have anything else to add about this boss? Do you know anything? You, you sat next to Moo for a long time. I mean, this was Moo's first big task, and I mean, it's, there's a lot going on here. Uh, I, I, I wish we 
did actually bring him back because I'm sure he would have a ton of insight. But, I mean, That's... there was a lot of back and forth in terms of just getting this guy working and... I was going to say, that's that's what we do here, man. We, we try to take the uh, path of most resistance. That's right. Let's get Mu on and then not show any of his levels. I think. That's right. That was that was a great bit of um, coordination on our part. <laughs> it, was, it shows that we have the, the capability to plan and think critically. Um, and all this for Courtney Gears. That's right. But it's worth it for Courtney Gears. Yeah, no, that's if you, if you gotta if you gotta do a really hard boss battle, you might as well. Dude, have a, you're close. Oh, there you yes. go. You got it. Might as well have a music video at the end of it. Oh, where do I go? There I go. If I die now, I will be very sad. Ah, uh, here it is. It hey, do you, did you what still want me to put the uh, recording of Brad Paul's? and Paul yes. singing over it? Okay. You have to put Paul singing on it. <laughs> All right, I'll see if I can find it. And, and, was this Paul's first game on uh, at Insomniac? Uh, no, I think Ratchet 2 was. Cause, uh, he came on on Ratchet 2, okay. Because uh, Mark was the, the main audio guy. And Jackie, on Ratchet 1. And Jackie so did voiceover. Cool, yeah. And then uh, Mark left, and then I think Paul was his replacement. Yeah. Are you feeling me, robots? All right. Courtney Gears. Get your gears and gears. I see the future, and what do I see? Robots going crazy across the galaxy. Can't stand organics, they're soft and squishy. The time is now, we robots must be free. Terminate, annihilate. Uh -huh. This goes out to all you robots across the galaxy. galaxy. It's time for you and me to rise up and strike back. Don't stop until we dominate. Whoa, it'll it'll be great, great. Till we exterminate all organs. I wish I could remember who animated this because they did an amazing job. I think it was, no, it was Chooch. Was it, was Chooch? it Chooch? 